In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customer. I'm going to log in. Your default home page is going to be your customer table. I currently have two customers sitting here on my customer table. I can go ahead and add a new customer by clicking the Add New Customer box or button. You do need to have a customer in order to create a design. So we typically recommend before you go to visit your customer, you go ahead and create their information and then you'll be able to work with inside that customer. Add a new customer, you can have a first name, last name, and an email address. Those three fields are required. Here the markup is two and a half percent or two and a half times really. So this would be if you're being charged $10 for a shelf, you're going to be charging this customer $25 for a shelf. Here you have the shipping and billing information, which you do not need to put in now, but you could. And then you go ahead and create that account. So you can see Bill Johnson is our new customer. I can click into Bill Johnson and I can now edit his record on his home page. If I go ahead and edit, then I have this information here. Maybe you want to put in a phone number for him and update his record. Now you'll notice when I'm editing a customer, because there's a good chance you're sitting there with the customer, the markup doesn't show here on the page. If you click the advanced button, however, you can get to that markup and change it, or you can keep it hidden. You can also on this page, we have some radio buttons that'll just sort out the customers. The default is the last 30 days, so only customers that have had some activity within the last 30 days are gonna default onto this page. If you need to look for a customer that was past 30 days, last time you worked with them, then you're just going to change that radio button to pick them out. You can also change the number of records per page. You can also sort by each column. You can also search. So if you're looking for something in particular, you can just type in and when you get to a certain number of characters, the table will filter itself. And of course, the columns can be sorted as well.